Hey. You, I need a cocoa. Straight up and just keep the cocos flowing. Drowning your sorrows, huh? Yeah. You know what it is? People just don't care about truth anymore, do they? Not from where I'm standing. Oh, you know, I still can't get over this. I can't believe people would actually think that I would do anything to exploit children. I love children, you know that. And besides, I named the whole clothing line after a child, for goodness sake. You know, people believe almost anything, Lucy. They believed I took my brother's DEA number to get drugs. But you didn't, did you? Absolutely not. Right, but they didn't believe you, did they? If they had, I'd be working as a paramedic instead of waiting tables. Oh, I'm sorry, that is rotten. But you know, good thing for me, I still get to host the nurse's ball this year. At least some people over there still have faith in me. You find out who your friends are, don't you? You can say that again. Thank you. You're welcome. Frank. Courtney, what's cooking? It's not what's cooking, Frank. It's what's gone. I give up. What's gone? The money. I went to the bank to withdraw the money from the account, but it wasn't there. Somebody swept us off, Frank. Fortune, time machine. Okay. All right. Mysterious dark eyed woman holds the key. Home at last. Yep. How was your shift? It was all night. I missed you. Yeah, well, I guess I'm missable. Well, we haven't seen each other since... Since uh... I blew up at you for asking me about DV. That's right. Kevin, I've been doing a lot of thinking. So have I. If you can't get past my not telling you everything about D.V. and me, then I think I should move out. How in the hell could the money be gone? Chris Ramsey. Chris is slimy, but even he couldn't slither his way into Marsha Cooper's bank account. We did, didn't we? Yeah, but that... Listen to me. He's had a P.I. snooping in my business. Plus, he tried to drag me into the Port Charles National Bank where I would be recognized as Marsha Cooper. Possibly. And then, and then this morning, when I went to withdraw the money, guess who was there in front of the bank? Chris. Mm-hmm. I had to go to breakfast with him. He was carrying a very large briefcase. Three guesses what was in it. Our money. Uh -huh. And he knows we can't go to the police, so he's probably laughing his head off as we speak. God, I, I hate him. Wait a second. When I visited Julie, she said that Chris had been to see her. She probably told him about the money. And then he tracked it to us. Oh, doesn't he ever have enough? We can't let him get away with this. All right, well, we better not get into it here. Hey, can you cover for me? I've got an emergency. Yeah, no problem. Let's get out of here. Okay, okay. The one 
who says nothing is the one who has the most to tell. And I says nothing. I don't know anybody that says nothing. <laughs> okay, look for the woman behind the man, especially your man. <sighs> a message about the future will come from a woman with a past. It's gotta be, it's gotta be Eve. The answer to all my problems with DV lies with Eve. Look, sharing is not my strong suit. Well, it's not a requirement for staying here, but either. But you want me to. And I'm not used to sharing all. I need to keep a part of all to myself. Maybe it's the way I grew up, and maybe that's just me. But just you is just fine. I'm a loner. I always have been. And yeah, I have gotten close to a few people here in Port Charles, but that wasn't by choice. It just happened that way. And you regret that? No. No. But I'm just not used to living with someone that I'm involved with. Okay? I, I don't know if I'm, if I'm ready to deal with that yet. I think we see too much of each other. A girl needs to keep a little mystery to herself. All this because we had a little fight yesterday? Well, that's what started me thinking about our living arrangements. Look, Eve, the conflict you feel about being a private person, yet wanting to connect with others. I, I know what that is. I felt that conflict. Yeah. My situation is different. Don't ask me how, just trust me, it is. Well, whatever it is, it's your business. Eve, I want you to feel comfortable here. You deserve your privacy and I want to respect that. Fine, I asked one too many questions about DV. My mistake, I apologize. You're wanting to ask me questions about DV and my past stem from your desire to help Lucy. Wait a minute, Please. listen to me, listen to me. You and Lucy have a very special bond. I'm fine with that. I really am. But? You've got to give me the benefit of the doubt here, and trust me, that if I had any information that would be helpful to Scott and Lucy, I would pass it on. I believe you. Good. Then respect my judgment call on this. My past with DV needs to stay in the past. Judgment call respected. So does this mean that you'll... reconsider staying? Is it because you believe DV is a threat to me? Because I want you to. Hey, hey, you... I just left Lee over at the hospital, then I saw your car, and I wanted to tell you that I found out that DV's gonna be back from his uh, factory tour soon. He's gonna be staying in his apartment in New York. That is so good. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to give him a piece of my mind. Well, I'd like to give him a piece of my fist. No, no, listen, be before you do that, I, I want you just to listen to something, okay? I okay. think I'm really onto something here. Okay, you ready? A mysterious dark-eyed woman holds the key. J just listen. The one who says nothing is the one who has the most to tell. And a message about the future will come from a woman with a past. Don't you see? Don't you see? No, I, I don't. Ah, look at this. These all point to Eve. Didn't, didn't you oh. listen? Listen, a mysterious dark-eyed woman. Eve, the one who says nothing? Look, Eve hasn't really told us anything, has she? Come on, Scott, look for the woman behind the man. D.V. A message about the future comes from a woman with a past. Eve has a past. It's all Eve, Eve, Eve. You put vodka in your cocoa? Oh. You're jumping to conclusions. No, Scott, I'm not. Please, just, just bear with me here. Okay, you remember how everything seemed so positive with the Serena line from the beginning? It was good. It was a little bizarre that it was going so well, but it still was good. Look, the dress came to us in kind of an odd way, and the dress pattern, and then there's the fact that Sebastian and Ellen got together because of the dress. What does this have to do with Eve? Well, then DV shows up, and it all goes haywire. The, the sprinkler system ruins the dresses, and, and, and then this horrible mess with the child labor thing. Come on. I, 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 Lucy, I, don't, I just don't see how it still gets to Eve. Okay, wait. Haven't we been racking our brains trying to figure out why? Why would I see DV's face in that crystal ball? What is the connection there? Yeah, I don't know. The connection is Eve. I think our connection to DV is something that happened between Eve. Come on, now, don't spin out here. 
They're like fortune cookies. You know, fortune cookies, you get the little fortune says, look to the past, look to the future, look to get a new haircut. It doesn't mean anything. You're making things up here. Listen, these are not just general like that. These happen to be very, very specific. Yes, but we know that Eve has told us everything she knows. I think that Eve is holding something back. Well, then if she is, it's none of our business. It sure the heck is our business. This means the success or not of my company. Come on. Oh, come on, Lucy. Okay, look. This machine was put here by some higher powers. It was. What are you talking about? You, you got those out of, out, of, out of that machine with that dummy lady over there. Well, you know, who do you think put that dummy lady in here? Who do you think gave me these very specific messages at this specific time in my life when I walked in here to solve a very specific problem? I can't argue with that. I can't argue with Good. anything. You're fine. Then I'm out of here. I gotta go. I am gonna go see Eve, and I'm gonna find out what she's hiding. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not gonna go off half-cocked and try to interrogate Eve again. I will not go and stick bamboo shoots under her fingernails or bring brass knuckles. I just want to squeeze that little pea brain of hers and get to the truth. Okay, well then, I'm gonna go with you. No, you're not. You well, don't have to. Yes, you yes, don't. Because yes, if Eve is hiding anything or knows anything, who do you think she's gonna be more responsive to? You or me? Feel better? Well, there's nothing like a nice hot shower to clear the cobwebs away. <laughs> I'll remember that if I ever go back into practice full time. I had a couple of realizations hit me while I was in the shower waiting for the room to steam up. You did? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Never make any life decisions after you've pulled an all-nighter. And the second? You're quite a special guy. I mean, if I can tell you basically to mind your own business, and you basically tell me, fine. Ah, finish. So does this mean you'll uh, be sticking around for a while? Well, you know, how could I throw away a perfectly good roommate? No, well, you're not such a bad roommate yourself, you know. How so? Well, you don't leave your things laying around where I trip over them. You don't mm -hmm. blare music that I hate, and you smell great. You know, I just had a realization on my own. You did? Hmm. Well, should I ask you about it, or should I mind my own business? No, I'll share it with you. You realize, technically, we just had our first fight. So, technically, that means we can make up. Oh, making up. Now, that has a really nice ring to it. Hold the thought. Hello? Uh, Kevin, it's uh, Scott. Can uh, Lucy and I drop by? You mean now? Yeah, we just want to ask Eve a couple more questions about uh, DV. Hold on a minute. It's Scott. He and Lucy would like to come by and ask you a few more questions about you know who. Swell. You know what I hate more than losing the money? Chris? That he won up to me. How do you think I feel? First, he screws me out of the deal with Lance, but that wasn't enough for Golden Boy. Now he needs Julie's money as well? You think you hate him? No. As of today, I am officially ahead of you in the hate Chris department. Which is not easy. You know what? We're not going to let him get away with this. We got to get that money back. If he's on to us, we have more to worry about than Julie's money. It's time to call off this whole operation and clear out of this apartment ASAP. No, no, Frank. What choice do we have, Courtney? I, I don't know, but we, we, we can't quit now, Frank. We are so close to breaking up Joe and Karen. This is a no-brainer, sweetheart. It's gotten too dangerous. No, Frank, Frank, there, there has got to be another way. Please, I am begging you, we can't give up. Let's face it. I can't get Chris's money. You can't get Joe. It's over, Courtney. He was blurry at first. Blurry? In my crystal ball, I saw this, this vision, but it was, it was hazy. And then all of a sudden, it got clearer and clearer. Pretty soon, it became crystal clear, and it was DV. It was his face. But it was like some sort of warning coming to me. I just couldn't figure out why. There was, there was no, absolutely no explanation. But today, I got another message. 
It happened at the recovery room from the fortune-telling machine there. The message pointed toward you, Eve, toward understanding why DV came into our lives. Lucy thinks that uh, you know why. I've already told you guys everything that I think could help. Can we ask you some specifics? All right. Okay. Thank you. Have a seat. Eve, uh, how long ago did you start dating D.V.? Well, I, uh, met him right after I started the escort service before med school. How long did it last? I don't remember. Was it months? Years? Uh, all right, fine. It was probably a few months. Why did it stop? Because I didn't like the way he started treating me. What do, you, what do you mean? Was he, um, smacking you around or something? No, he wasn't smacking me around. I just found out that the rumors I had heard about D.V. were true. That he would do anything to get what he wanted. So then that was just the end of it? I tried to get away, but I couldn't. D.V. took all my money that I had saved for my sister. So then what did you do? So then, after I saved up enough money again, I told D.V. that I was going away for the weekend, and instead I moved to Minnesota and started med school. Can you remember anything else? Nope. That's it. The end. Eve? Are you sure? She said the end. She means the end. <sighs> I, I'm sorry, Eve, I just, I know my instinct is telling me you are holding something back, something very important that could help us, really help us. You know what, Lucy, your instincts can take a flying leap. I am not interested in strolling down memory lane to appease your feelings. Uh, listen, Eve, if, if it looks like we're prying... Prying? Try the third degree, okay, Scott? I warned you! I warned you not to go into business with DB. You did not listen to me. We're listening now. You are not hearing me. I have already told you everything you need to know about DV. I am not going to dredge up my lousy past again. So forget it. I am going to think of something really horrible to do to him. Uh, Ramsey deserves the worst, but right now we need to concentrate on getting out of here. And to think that I actually slept with that... Yeah, Ugh. pretty scary. Ugh. If you have an extra bag or something, I, I, I need something to put all this in. Oh, what? All of, uh, this. April Fool's. <laughs> April Fool's? April Fool's? That was, that was yesterday, you, you fool! Well, if I would have done it yesterday, you would have been on to me. <laughs> so, so you... I withdrew the money myself. Oh, I'm getting to be an expert at this wire transferring thing, not even a raised eyebrow. <laughs> you mean... You we mean... stay one step ahead of Mr. Ramsey. <laughs> oh, if you could have seen the look on your face. Oh, Frank, I'm going to kill you! All right, all right. Look, wait, 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 wait will, will, this, will this help you forgive me? You scared me to death! Oh, come on, Courtney, can't you take a joke? It's not funny! Oh, even just a little bit. <laughs> You're a devil. You wanted an angel? No. Keep your horns. Somebody has hell to pay. D.V. here. D.V., it's Eve. Who? Eve. Well, you kept my number. I'm flattered. Cut the crap, D.V. I need to ask you one thing. At your service. Are you trying to hurt Scott and Lucy because of me? Hmm. Interesting theory. 
I need to see you. Wow, nice. Aren't you full of surprise? Oh, Bull, you know you're not surprised. I am, too. The last time we bumped into each other, you acted as though you couldn't stand the sight of me. <laughs> when can we meet? Any time you say. Tomorrow, rarely does a show come along that's filled with heart-stopping, breathtaking drama performed in front of millions. The big moment is coming to ABC. Then, World War I and Vietnam, conflicts that divided a nation and the world. Explore two events that shattered our hearts and our country's innocence forever. On the Century, ABC Saturday. Read the future in Lucy's Crystal Ball. Visit Port Charles at ABC.com, part of the Go Network.